Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today is a very exciting day because it is Hobbit Day, but not just because of that, it is because GW have shown their hand and they have revealed the new starter set for our Middle Earth SPG and it is bloody amazing and I can't wait to share my thoughts and opinions with you, show you guys all the new things. I'm sure you guys have seen it already, but I want to give you my thoughts and opinions and you know what this could mean for the future of the game. It's an exciting time guys let's get straight into it if you guys go on to enjoy the stream or uh, the video i should say uh make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys do want to support the channel in other ways you can become a member of the channel and get a few perks but again you guys don't have to but thank you guys so very much for watching uh let's get straight into it guys i'm very excited to talk about this so here we have the article guys it says hobbit day reveal the Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, Battle of Edoras starter set. A very exciting thing. Um, you know, obviously there was a lot of rumours about this going along, uh, you know, with a starter set with new plastics. It is now confirmed there are new plastic miniatures, there's new plastic troops. It's all happening, guys. It's very, very exciting. So let's get straight into it. So it's Hobbit Day, the annual celebration of all things Middle Earth in honour of the 11th birthday of a certain Bilbo Baggins. We couldn't uh, let such prestigious day pass without uh, without an appropriate bumper gift, so we sent our very best burger into the lair of the games developers to retrieve a cop brand new copy of the Lord of the Rings: The War of Rohirrim right Battle of Edoras starter set. Um, again, very very exciting. Cannot wait. Um, you know, very very exciting. Um, as you guys can probably tell, um, there is a trailer which you guys would have already seen. Um, I'll put it up in the background as well. Um, but here we go, guys. This is everything that is inside the box. I actually had a feeling that we might get something. It was Hobbit Day, obviously. It's now yesterday uh, for me in Australia. Um, but I definitely thought that we might have got something. I think we have almost gotten something almost every Hobbit Day. Um, I remember when we we did get a uh, Forge World Bilbo um, on one of the uh, Hobbit Days. So very nice to see. Um, and, you know, obviously with all the hype around Middle Earth at the moment, I was assuming that we would get something not this extensively, um, but I thought we might have got another tease, but we got the entire reveal of the Battle of Edoras uh, starter set, the new starter set coming from Middle Earth SVG. Um, so we can see what's in the box here. So based on characters and events from the upcoming The Lord of the Rings War of, War of the Hero movie, this box, sets pitch, this box set pitches the forces of Rohan against the Hill Tribes, which is, of course, uh, Dunland, which they would become Dunland. There are 56 all new plastic miniatures in the box, including mounted and on foot versions of four heroes from the film, as well as some classic Rohan houses and a 3x3 three three play map. Um, now, I have gone through, as always, um, in through some, you guys can see the box contents here, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I have gone through some of the comments on, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, about uh, a few certain things. So, the three by three playmat. Everyone's wondering, you know, is it going to be the new norm? Is it going to, you know, is the scenario is going to be on three by three, or is the whole new is the whole new game, like you know, this new edition, is it going to go from a four by four to a three by three? And it is just it's been confirmed by Rob, who was of course the uh, lead games developer, I believe. I think that's the title. Um, but he, you know, he oversees all things Middle Earth and other game systems as well. That that is just for the scenarios in in the in in the starter set. So don't freaky out guys <laughs> but i thought that could be cool as well you know having different uh gate like maybe almost in like a 40k sense so up to anything up to 600 points it's on a three by three anything further on it's on a four by four it's something like that that'd be cool it also makes sense for it makes it a lot easier for people who just getting into the game obviously with this set um you know you don't need a bigger space you don't need a four by four because most most kitchen tables are not four foot um wide or some they four foot long but not maybe not four foot wide they're usually you know three foot wide um i know my one of my, my, my table uh you know without having them next to each other um is about three foot so it's definitely going to be a lot easier for most people to have a game like this and it's nice to have a play mat in this set as well so here we have the box and the box contents 176 page rules manual manual um it is quite smaller than the original one uh the one at the moment i think is just over 220 pages um but the that includes the entire rules the entire rules make up about 150 pages and as we know there's going to be compression of the rules and some rules going to be phased out such as special strikes um and things like um like the in the way chart that's going to be going everything's just going to be a four plus now so we know that things are going to be compressed. We know things are going to be taken out. 
Um, so I'm not too worried about that, guys. And of course, we know that new rules are going to be coming in, um, such as the, um, the uh, not the inspiration, not the insights, what is it, the intelligence rule. Um, so that's going to be coming in. So I, I, I don't think it's going to be too, um, like, again, I don't think it's going to be a massive change, guys. 48-page uh, scenario and profiles booklet. As you guys know, I'm a massive narrative player, so I'm very excited for that. It's going to be very, very cool. Uh, 12 six-sided dice. We have some cracker dice up there. Uh, the middle is range ruler. I believe that could be the same one as Escape from Goblin Town, but we'll have to wait and see. A uh, three by three double-sided play mat. So we see one side here. I don't think we see the other side, so maybe it could be something different. Who knows? Uh, two Rohan houses. That's cool. I recently just bought one, so I uh, just bought, you know, just built that up. It's a really cool kit. Uh, so I'll definitely, you know, nice to have some more of them. Quick reference guide, which we'll see a bit later. Really nice to have, especially if you're just starting out. Um, or, you know, most of us will be learning the new rules, you know, obviously there will be some new rules, like, there'll be some changes, obviously. Um, I'll, I'll probably go in, in another video of, of some certain things that we might see, um, and, you know, some things that, you know, if you, if you guys like that, let, do let me know in the comment section below. But also some things that, uh, that we have seen, uh, hinted and teased, um, that are coming, coming in the new edition. If you guys like to do that, let me know. Uh, so we also have 56 set of adventures. So we have Halith, Prince of Rohan, Harma, Prince of Rohan, 24 Warriors of Rohan, Wolf, Leader of the Dunlendings, General Targ, uh, I think that's how you say, and 24 Hill Tribesmen. Um, you can't really see them too much here, but they're all new plastic guys. And like I said, this could be massive for the game. I think this is, um, th 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 this is, this is the, the start of something massive. Uh, so we have the, the army. So we have the Rohirrim. The men of Rohan are hardy folk raised in harsh lands of the Moor Hills and endless grasslands. There are twenty-eight Rohirrim militias in the starter set, led by set led by Helm's sons, the princes Haleth and Hammer. So we have Haleth, Prince of Rohan, a brand new plastic miniature, um, which is great. You know, just the, the, the detail on this guy. It looks like it's forged or resin, but it's not. It's actually a plastic sculpt, which is amazing. Um, I love the foot version. I'm not too, not too cool with the um, with the uh, mount with the mounted version. I think that's maybe just because of the paint job. But obviously, this is how he's going to look um, somewhat, uh, at least the color wise in the film. So that, that that would obviously make sense. Of course, you know you can paint your models however you want. That's the great thing about our hobby. Um, I could also say that this is probably going to have uh, different um, weapon options because he's got an axe here. Um, but as you guys can see, the one on foot. He doesn't have a sword in his scabbard, but he has an axe. So I would assume that you can replace that axe with a sword, foot and mountain. I'm assuming. I don't know, guys. Um, but that's very cool. A very cool model. I love the. Um, I, again, I think the foot model takes it here for me for this uh, for this one. So Halif is the eldest son of Helm Hammerhand and heir to the throne of Rohan. Like his father, he's a strong and skilled fighter who is willing to put his life on the line to defend his homeland. Few who stand against him can hope to match his martial skills. There are two versions of Halleth, including in the starter box, one on foot and another one rearing armoured warhorse. Uh, warhorse, maybe a new profile, maybe it's got tougher armour, it's got quite a lot of barding. Maybe it could be, you know, defence four, maybe, who knows. Uh, Harma, Prince of Rohan, gr another great looking sculpt. Um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, the, I think, I don't know, they're both pretty decent. I think the, the mounted version here takes it for me. Um, but again, they're both um, really, really nice sculpts. As you guys can see, uh, him on uh, here, but he has a bow, bow on both foot and mounted. Um, that pose doesn't seem like he. he I don't know because he has a bow strapped to his back when he's mounted, so I don't think there'll be an option for that. Um, but uh, on foot, um, you can see he's he's definitely you know drawing his bow, which is very very cool. Um, so it says, Hammer is the youngest son of Helm and something of a warrior poet, a capable fighter in his own right. He's partially abducted from the bow and rides to war alongside his father and brother in defense of Edoras. Uh, and again, you can find two versions. So definitely adept with a bow. Maybe, you know, if there's still, a th if it's the same rule, maybe he's got like how he's, he's, he can shoot twice, who knows? Or he might have a, a free might point when shooting or something like that, who knows? But then we get onto the very exciting stuff, guys. We have the updated Warriors of Rohan, and this dropped when I was asleep. I and I had I woke up, went to work, and I was you know I was just flicking through some stuff while while I'm on my break, and I just saw this. And I like I said, I was not expecting anything. I really wasn't expecting anything at all, and I lost my shizzle. Um, again, quite. I've actually got some of them here. I've these these are some of the ones I've converted. 
but you had, you know, the old Warrior Bro hand sculpts, you know, this is obviously one of them right here. Um, a vast, vast improvement, as you guys can see, but it definitely does um, lend, uh, you know, probably guys can probably, you know, is it going to focus? Probably not. Um, but obviously it lends, these are some conversions I've done, um, but these are obviously um, far better, um, but obviously they do have a resemblance to the old models, and they, you know, I, again, uh, some of the comments that um, Games Workshop have kind of said, that these will pair nicely, they will fit alongside these, um, you know, your old sculpts. Obviously they're going to look a lot better, but that doesn't mean they're going to be proportionately bigger. Um, some people have also asked about the base size, are they going to be increased to maybe 28s or even 32s? They have not. All the foot models in the starter sets will be 25mm bases, and all of the mounted models will be 40mm bases. That has come out from GW themselves, that's coming out from the Warhammer uh, official channel. Um, so that's very cool, very exciting. Um, you guys can see the just the amount of detail on these guys, I can't wait to paint these. I, I've i got, what, about 50 Warriors of Rohan, I've got about 30 Riders. I'm going to be getting them. You know, there's no way I'm not getting this starter set and I'm probably going to build a new Rohan army. You know, you know, it is what it is and I'll just, you know, it'll just be better for when I start doing War of the Ring content, you know, heaps of Rohan stuff. Um, and I definitely want to find a new paint scheme to paint these guys because I don't think this ain't going to cut it. You know, I, I, the, the green is the big problem for me. I'm going to have to find a good green. Um, I can paint the other things pretty decently but the um, the green is always green rohan cloaks have really um really really annoy me so we'll have to figure it out um obviously we can't see the back of them but they're going to be a lot nicer than that which is basically flat you, you know there's a there's quite a few creases in there but um i think there's going to be quite a nice definition of detail i think contrast paints would work really nice with this i don't like working with contrast paints um for middle earth models i just don't find it really works well for me but I think, um, yeah, it's got, you know, a base coat of wash or, you know, even wet blending, which I st have started doing a lot more now, um, is going to work up really nicely. And again, the shields, new, some new design, there's a new design on the shield, um, but again, you can just see they're just really nicely updated sculpts, which is awesome. Um, so it says you get 24 all new Warriors of Rohan miniatures in the set. They follow the same design aesthetic as in the classic models from the years gone by, but have been brought up to date with the latest sculpting wizardry, and they are masterful. Um, armed with the range of spears, swords, shields, and bows, they'll be backbone of your Rohan war host. And if you already have a Rohan army for middle of stage battle game, then these will make perfect reinforcements. So again, I think the people worry upscaling, I think they'll be the same size, if maybe slightly, and I mean slightly taller, um, if not. Um, but they're going to, apparently they're going to be the, perfect um counterpart to these guys so i don't expect them to be you know they always look bigger on the screen you know obviously they do then we're up to the hill tribesmen so first on we have wolf uh, we don't really have to talk about him you can guys go check out the video where he was uh revealed uh, about two or three weeks ago now um actually well yeah about three weeks ago now um so we've already talked about him which is cool you know nice to see him uh come back um yeah like i said uh was re yeah was revealed last month but um Take another look at it. Then we have General Targ, um, very very cool model, very very nice, you know, a very very different model, um, I should say, uh, a very very defined model. I think is the best way to put it. Um, the, the sculpting of the face is just beautiful. That's a massive horse. It's almost like a Shire horse um, compared to the size of the model. So that's kind of cool. I'm very excited to um, to see that. And I've, I've noticed that <coughs> a lot of the horses recently have um, have been really lovely to paint like the new Arnold Warriors these guys that I've um, just you know built and I'm gonna paint them up very very soon the horses are, of late have been really really nice and I can't wait to um, paint some up they're a lot better than the old horses that's for sure um, just because of the muscle definitions the definition that you can have on them it's a lot nicer to layer up and um, highlight that's for sure um, that's the reason I don't like painting the old horses because you know you can it's very hard to do it uh, so General Targ has uh, flung, has oh sorry, long, long been a trusted advisor of Wolf and his father Freka, who is skilled in the ways of strategy and warfare. He's ruthless, he's a ruthless commander and a fearsome fighter who shares a liege disdain for the Rohirrim under Helm's rule. Um, so that's cool. Then we have probably almost, if, if not better, than the actual Warriors of Rohan. We have the Hill Tribesmen, which of course are Dunlendings. Um, it does say later on that uh, these will perfect if you're doing a Lord of the Rings 
uh, version of this army, like a Lord of the Rings uh, era version. Um, you know, obviously, which is a lot later on, like 200 years later after this film, uh, that these will pair perfectly as uh, Dunlending Warriors, like Wild Men of Dunland. Um, and again, absolutely beautiful. They are quite, I think they're going to be quite multi-part guys compared to the Rohan guys. Um, it says here that uh, the counterparts to the Rohan Warriors, the hill tribesmen carry a variety of spears, swords, axes, and bows into battle, as well as flaming torches with which to burn to Eros to the ground. There are different weapon options for many of the models, so your force can be varied as it is deadly. So what you guys can see here, um, and I didn't say about the Rohan Warriors either, they are 12. Um, so there's basically two spears at 12, so it's nice to see them uh, come back like this as well. Um, again, these are plastic, these are new plastic troops, and you guys can see that there are, you know, obviously there are two different, there are two, two of the same poses in this set, but by the sounds of it, you can do quite a different variety, and by the way that they are, some of them, if not all of them, um, by the way that they're posed, you'll be able to do quite a bit of converting as well. I'm doing a bit of conversions at the moment um, with my Mortal Orcs, um, you know, having Mortal Orcs, I, we, we can talk, talk about this in another, another video, but... The, the fact that this has happened, that this has finally happened, that we're actually getting new plastic troops, depending on how well the film goes and how well this set sells. I think the set's going to sell fantastically anyway, um, you know, from, from, from what I've heard and from what experiences as well. I think that um, the possibility of having new model orcs, new Minas Tirith warriors, new, you know, we're obviously going to get Riders of Rohan. That's a, that's a no-brainer. That's a given that we're going to get them. New, you know, Rivendell elves, you know, things like that. We're going to get them. I, I don't I do not not see that happening now. Um, Games Workshop have done this massive reinvestment into the game, which is great to see, and I don't see why they would stop here. But I just don't see it because having the updated sculpts alongside old sculpts doesn't really work. So I definitely could see this um, becoming into a bigger thing, which is great to see. Obviously, great to see. Uh, what else is in the box? We also all those miniatures weren't enough. We also have uh, the. 3x3 three three paper playmats. It's a shame because um, in 40k you you get paper playmats in the smaller sets, but in the bigger sets you get like the cardboard one that folds out. Um, it'll be nice to see that, but unfortunately it's only paper. Uh, but it is what it is, um, and if you've got your own balls, you can just play on them. Um, the mat is double-sided with one side showing objectives for your hero and tribesmen to fight over, while the other is un in an uninterrupted grassland, which is interesting. Um, first time me reading, actually reading this article, I think besides showing objectives for your row here and tries to fight over, I think there could be a scenario in there that kind of leads you into match play. And I think that's why these why these forces are quite evenly matched. We have 24 as a row hand, 12 wild men at Dunlin, and two heroes on each side. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, and that's why they give you some terrain, because you can actually do a bit of a match play game with this, um, which is cool. And again, you don't, you, everything you need is in the box. You have rulers, you have dice, you have the models, you have objectives printed onto the board, which is very similar to what they're doing um, with 40k and Age of Sigma with Spearhead. So a very, very cool thing to do there. Um, you also get two classic Rohan houses to start your own settlement with. Uh, modular Plastic Kit gives uh, you plenty of building op options, including a dorm dormer, window, and porch. It also includes a number of fences, barrels, and ropes. Yep, great, great little set, as I said before. <coughs> uh, book books includes a 176-page rules manual with a fully updated rules for the new edition of Middle Earth. There's also a scenario and profiles booklet with the updated sets for all the miniatures in the box so you can get started with the game straight away and a quick reference guide to help you out in your first battles. Um, and obviously, we also get the uh, dice and the range rules. Um, we'll have more to, or more about the Lord of the Rings War we're here in battle over the starter set and the new edition of Middle Earth Stranger Bell game as we get closer to its release. So stay tuned to Wyoming Community for all the latest news. Um, so we have the book here, nice looking book. Um, it, Interesting, it doesn't say Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit anymore, it says Lord of the Rings, the War Hobbit, and the War of the Rohirrim. Um, obviously, because you know, this is the start of a new edition, and the War of the Rohirrim is catapulting uh, this new edition. I think that's a good word to have it. Uh, you know, it's catapulting with all those new plastic sets. It's the first new plastic set with entirely new plastics, like it's the starter set since Escape from Goblin Town. That was the first new starter set with plastics in it. It's the first new plastic troop. Um, Technically, they had one with Elrond, the Elven Banner, but it's the first new plastic troops since Palace Guard, and that was, I believe, December of 2013, maybe January or February of 2014. So it's been over 10 years, it's been over a decade since then, and um, I think it's <laughs> it's been worth the wait, because they are flipping fantastic. Um, obviously, we have the Battle of Edoras uh, scenario and profiles booklet, very similar to the uh, Osciliate and 
power up battle colonel fields so there'll be some scenarios in there to uh, help you start start off the game um and i'm again i'm a scenario player i'm a narrative player so that's the book for me uh and of course there'll be profiles in there and help you how, how teach you how to start the game and there's also a quick reference guide which there is quite a few juicy things on there um which i'll probably get to in another video um but i've rambled on long enough guys let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below they are absolutely fantastic i think it's a great time to get into the game i think you're going to see a lot of people get into the game to be honest i think this is going to be a good investment um i think i know people have been talking about the price i think it'll be more expensive than oskeliath oskeliath was 120 quid uh, which is about 350 dollars australian i definitely think this is going to be a lot more um i know they're plastic warriors but i think 24 warriors of rohan now i don't know what they are in quid but i know they are about uh, Seventy-seven dollars Australian. I think once the new set comes out, if they do come out in twenty-four, which I think they would, unless they go back to boxes of twelve. But I think if they go to boxes of twenty-four, I don't know. What What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to go to boxes of twelve again, or will they go to boxes of twenty-four? Like with the how have they bundled the old ones together, or will they? Because I can see that if they're going to do boxes of twenty-four, I think they're going to be more expensive than what they are now. I think we have to accept that. Um, because they are new sculpts. That's the price we have to pay for new sculpts. I think if they're 77 Australian dollars now for Warriors of Rohan, I think they're going to be at least 90, maybe a hundred dollars. Um, but for 24 plastic miniatures, I think that's got, I think that's for, for a decent price, unless they go back to boxes of 12 for the new plastics. Um, and then maybe a box of 12 equals maybe $45 or something like that. So you don't have to, if you only want 12, you can, you know, you don't have to you don't have to save up as much to get a box if you want it if they're coming boxes of 12 they're going to be less but you know they'll still be more expensive other anyway do you, do you guys get what i mean i hope i i hope i um i hope i make sense but let me know would you guys prefer boxes of 24 where you'd have to probably you know i, I assume that we'd have to pay more anyway than what we're paying now for the current plastic but like i said but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below I think this is all flipping fantastic. As I've said, guys, like, you know, they're all flipping fantastic. I can't wait to paint more Rohan up. Like I said, I'm painting Rohan up at the moment. I've got more Rohan to paint of the old stuff. You know, I've still got like, you know, 50 Rohan of the old stuff. I'm still going to paint them. I'm still going to paint these guys and I'll probably get more of these as they come out. Um, obviously, there's no Freka, there's no Helm, there's no Hera, no Riders Rohan. That's all going to come. We all know this is going to happen. Um, if it's all going to be plastic, who knows? I assume Hera would be. Helm has been rumoured to be Forge World, a new Forge World Helm. Who knows if that's going to happen? Um, we're going to get new plastic Riders of Rohan. That's a given, guys. I, you know, they're not going to do new plastic Riders of Rohan and not give us new Riders. That's just that's not not that's not not going to happen. Um, so that's going to happen. Um, yeah, I think this is a great time to be in the hobby, guys. And you know, subscribe if you guys are new because this is going to be a crazy end of the year. Um, I've already given up on my bought painted ratio this year. I've bought over 300, 350 models this year already. Uh, I'm going to be getting this plastic set and I cannot wait for it. You know, it is what it is. It's the game that we all love. I'll do it. I don't care because it's flipping fan. I, again, you guys can see I'm just so excited. I, I cannot wait. I hope you guys can't wait either. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. Hope you guys are too. I'm building a Helm's Deep as well. So, you know, I'm already, you know, I'm halfway through building Helm's Deep. Um, you know, you, you guys will actually see an update on that soon anyway. Um, as I thought I should put that in there. Um, but it's a very exciting time. I'm building Helm's Deep and that's to go along with this, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm just going to keep going on and on. Uh, but I'm sure that I'll do more videos going into more detail and future stuff as well. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. What kind of content would you guys like to see? Do let me know as well. But I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you guys' are thoughts and opinions and down in the comment section below and we'll have a little uh, talk down there. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys haven't already and support the channel if you guys would like to as well. But I'll see you guys in the next video and as always, happy gaming.